and today I am filming a new video for you all today I'm doing this nice RD warm um, warm eye I don't know what to call it yet but you'll see in the title above I'm trying to step out of my comfort zone this year and try to do different looks different colors different everything so I really hope you guys enjoy this video and if you want to get this look keep on watching Okay, so I had first already done my concealer and a little bit of bronzer, so I wanted to go ahead and just put some setting powder under my eyes so that any shadow that I do get on my eyes or any fallout, it'll fall onto the powder and I could just dust it off easily. Um, I will be voiceovering and then talking through the video throughout the video because sometimes when I get into the zone of doing my makeup, I forget to talk throughout the video. So it's a semi-talk through, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna take my Morphe 350 palette, this beautiful palette, and I'm just gonna take this color right over her. On, and this is gonna act as our base so that all of the colors and shadows that we're gonna put on our lid are gonna blend out nice and beautifully and seamless. And there aren't gonna be any jagged lines because sometimes when you put shadows right on top of the primer, they become really jagged and, um, it doesn't look as smooth basically what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take a flat um shadow brush so i'm gonna go ahead and take these nice bright orange colors and i'm gonna pack that onto my lid i'm just gonna focus this right on top of the lid pack this color as close to the lash line as possible and just keep it focused in that area so on our lid we're just gonna go ahead and blend that out like so not adding any other color we're just diffusing that um orange that we put on our lid just so that there's no harsh lines and i'm blending out into my crease it's gonna get messy as much as you want because i want it to be a nice messy smoky eye a little grungy so but that's not your thing you can be a little bit more neat with it but i'm getting crazy now i'm gonna take these two colors right here I'm going to take a Morphe M511, M511, and we're going to work that into the crease. And this is going to blend everything out. I'm just blending it in windshield wiper motions into the crease, so I'm blending it in the inner part of my, the inner corner of my eye and then the outer part. So windshield wiper motions in the middle and then doing little circular motions on the inside and the outside to make it really blown out. These colors are so pretty and I have wanted to do a um, video with this palette on my channel for a while so now I have the chance to I'm just blending back and forth I like to blend 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 until like my hand goes numb and you know that carpal tunnel from like texting all day starts to kick in that's when you know you're blending for the gods with all that blending sometimes you lose the color you put on your lid so I'm gonna go ahead and just pack on a little bit more orange since we already blended that you don't want to go too close to the crease area so you just want to pack it on towards the lash line create all the color right here and then gently do circular motions going up towards the crease to blend it out but don't apply as much pressure as you did when you had it really close to the lash line so that it starts seamlessly gradually fade out into that light brown so i'm taking my urban decay legend 24 7 waterline i'm not going to do top liner today so that's why i'm lining all the way around my eye and i am going to put top lashes so you want to make sure you line right in the inner part of your eye so it's non-detectable now i'm going to do some coats with my revlon all-in-one mascara that i absolutely am obsessed with it is thebomb.com. So I'm going to go ahead and pop on my Queen Bee Lashes from Coco Lashes. They're one of my favorite lashes and I thought this would be perfect because they're nice and wispy and just really out there without being too crazy, dramatic, and thick. I still wanted the shadows to show through, so. 
Now I'm gonna take this dark brown from the Morphe palette on the last row. So we're gonna work in layers. So first we're gonna put this dark brown. You wanna define the lower lash line, especially since we put a black color into our waterline. If we just put like a plain orange, it'll look weird. It'll make the black stand out a little bit more, but it won't be in a flattering way. I just got tons of eyeshadow on my eye. I'm taking a fluffier angled brush. This is from BH Cosmetics. It doesn't have a name of the brush or anything, but it came from the collection with the, like the gold packaging. I'm gonna go ahead and blend that out under my eye. Fussy right now, but don't worry. I got this. So basically you wanna repeat what you did on your lid to your lower lash line. So I'm gonna go ahead and take um, my brush with no product on it and then just blend that out on the outer part. Dust off that product that I have under my eye. So you want to just dust down and away from your face, but make sure you're dusting it lightly because you don't want to disrupt that foundation you already have on your face. It can lift, it can um, look a little bit cakey, so just be careful while dusting it off. Then coat my lower lashes with my red wand. A bit of my Hoola bronzer to the sides of my nose, and then I'm going to add a little bit more um, on the sides of my cheeks because it disappeared. Find the center of my face. I had to um, spray some setting spray because my nose has been so dry lately and it was cracking and I put like tons of concealer and it was still cracking on me. So I'm gonna try and see if this helps. So with the bronzer, I'm just blending upwards so it gives a nice seamless look and it makes our cheekbones look a little bit more defined. So now I'm taking um, Peach's Blush from MAC. So basically what I'm doing here is I'm just focusing on the apples of my cheek and then blending it outwards towards our bronzer slash contour. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight with Anastasia Beverly Hills Highlighter in So Hollywood. It's one of my favorite, favorite, favorite highlighters. Oh, yes. Come through. I like them. So basically when you're highlighting, you want to hit those points that the lights hit. So that you're nice and glowy and it's reflecting off. So that would be the tops of the cheekbones, the center of the nose, your cupid's bow. And you just want to make sure you're packing that highlight on if you want that really nice glowy look. So that's what I'm doing right now with my Anastasia 24 brush. I believe it is called. Now I'm taking Spice Lip Pencil from MAC and then Kind of Sexy Lipstick. And we're just going to keep it with the theme of like the orangey warm colors. So I'm going to go ahead and line my lips. Tons and tons of videos online about how to line your lips, how to make your lips look bigger. But I want to do one explaining how I do it. The major key is to just enhance your natural lips. See, So right now I'm just going to line all the way up until the center of the lip. And then we're going to focus the lipstick in the center of the lip to make it look more pouty. So now I'm taking kind of sexy. I'm just placing on the center of my lips. So I'm gonna go over again with my lip liner just to define the shape of my lips a little bit more. Yes, this is the completed look. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please leave below any questions, comments, and um, suggestions for next videos. I talk with my hands a lot. Oh my god. Also, please leave this video a thumbs up. So I lost the last footage of me saying thank you guys so much again. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. I appreciate you all so much and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.